5.1c. Convert units, dual unit conversions. Dual unit simply means that there are two units. Examples of this could be something like miles per hour. The word per is the fraction bar. Or remember, it's divide. With dual units, we convert one unit at a time. We will see how this is done with example one. In example one, you can see that we have 35 miles per hour, and we would like to change this to feet per second. Sometimes it is helpful to immediately change these units into their fractional form, in which miles per hour would be miles over hours, and feet per second would be feet over seconds. Next, we need to set up the beginning of our conversion. We have 35 miles, remember per is the fraction bar, so over hour. We now need to multiply to convert these. We would need to look at a table and see if there is a conversion to get from miles to feet and other conversions to get from hours to seconds. You can find that there are 5,280 feet equals one mile. Another conversion factor also shows you that there are 3,600 seconds equals one hour. We will use these conversions to solve this problem. We start with 35 miles per hour. We can multiply this only by the first conversion, which gives us miles and feet. Once again, we put the miles diagonally so that they will reduce. We have 5,280 feet, so that number goes with feet, and one mile. We can now reduce the miles. We are left with feet, which was what we were looking for. We now continue by multiplying by the next conversion factor. We see that there are 3,600 seconds per hour. You may also use conversions such as there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 seconds in an hour. We will be using this one. We see that hours was originally in the denominator, so we will need to put it in the opposite or the numerator for it to be able to be reduced. We therefore have hours on top and seconds on bottom. The hours on top is one hour per 3600 seconds. We can now reduce the hours and we are left with seconds, which is what we were looking for. Now that we have found both sets of units, we can finish solving by multiplying all of the numerators and all of the denominators. This will give us 184,800 feet per 3600 seconds. We continue to divide, in which we get 51.333 repeated, which will round to the tenths, giving us 51.3 feet per second. You can write it as a slash or over one another, as we did in the example at the top. Example two, 45 ounces per minute, and we would like to convert this to pounds per hour. Once again, it is helpful to sometimes write them vertically as ounces per minute and pounds per hour. We can see that we are changing from ounces to pounds and minutes to hours. We will start by writing down what we have. We have 45 ounces per minute. We also will then reference a table to come up with some conversions that will be helpful. 
we find one value that says that there are 16 ounces and it equals one pound. We also find another value that says that there are 60 minutes and that that equals one hour. After we have found these two values, we can now continue to solve. We start by multiplying by a first conversion factor and we can either change the ounces or the minutes, but let's start with the ounces. We know that the ounces need to be diagonal, therefore the pounds are on top. We know that 16 goes with the ounces and one goes with the pound. We can now reduce the ounces and we have gotten pounds. We now continue on and we focus on minutes to hours. We see that we have minutes on the bottom, so we must put them on the top or in the numerator to reduce them. We also see that we need to put hours in the denominator. The numbers that go with them are 60 minutes and one hour. We can now reduce, giving us hours, which is what we were looking for. We now multiply across all of the numerators, giving us 2,700 pounds. And we multiply all the denominators, giving us 16 hours. We now divide the two, and this will give us 168.75 pounds per hour. We have now converted ounces per minute to pounds per hour. Remember when converting dual units that the word per is the fraction bar. And with dual units, you can only convert one unit at a time.